hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Tell me what to do. Guys, welcome to my channel once again and today I would be giving some tips and tricks how to use Google Earth when using Erda's Imagine. So there are some issues when you guys use Google Earth and Erda's together for any kind of analysis and I'm here to solve that problem. So here we go. So today we would be downloading Google Earth Pro but a different version which is compatible with Eritas Imagine. So let's open Google and write Google Earth Pro. Here you go. So let's go to the download page and here comes the download page. So what you need to do is if we go ahead and download the Google Earth Pro, the version which is available on internet, this has some technical issues and therefore we are going to go to the advanced setup after going to the advanced setup they would always recommend us for downloading the version 7.3 but we are gonna download an earlier version which is more compatible so oh, um, I clicked on direct installer page once we click on this page we get this windows coming up where we can download a Google Earth Direct Installer or a Google Earth Pro Direct Installer. So let's go with the Pro one because that's more advanced. And so just a tip that if you do not have a product key or the license key for Google Earth Pro, what you can do is when you just download it and log in and try to get into the software, you just put your email address, any email address would work. The key is GEP. F R E E. I guess that is Google Earth Pro free, but we write G E P F R E E all in caps and together, no space to sign in. So for using in Erda's Imagine, we would be scrolling down and using the version 6.2 because the versions before 6 are not supported by Pro. I guess that is supported by the basic Google Earth. So Google Earth. Um, the version 6.2 is the one which we would be using for our further further videos in our uh, further projects in Eridas. So in that, I'm using a window PC, so I would be clicking on window for all my Apple users. You can go for the Mac one. So once I click on that, it would start downloading, and it's pretty quick if you have a fast internet going around. Just click on the one which is downloaded. And it will take some time to install so here we go just going go ahead and click on yes it will prepare to install these are the basic step you use in any software to install it so you just keep on clicking next the location they are asking for is I'm good to go with this location so I'll cl click on next but if you want to change the location click on change and you can go ahead and save it wherever you want it then again go, go and click on next and once you click on next the final step is to install and here we go so the installation will take some time sometimes it's pretty quick sometimes it takes several minutes once your whole installation is completed go and click on launch Google Earth Pro like just keep a tick on that and click on finish once you finish click on finish the Google Earth Pro should open but for me my desktop resolution is really small and therefore it gives me something like this kind I would suggest click OK and go ahead and click on your Google Earth Pro so this was the box I was talking about so if you do not have the key just put your username and your license key and you're good to go so so once you are in the Google Pro they'll give you that the new version is available but we cannot use if we are using an Eridas Imagine but for other purpose we can go ahead and surely use that one so 
if you want to download click on that if you don't want to show it again just click on don't show again and here you come with your google earth thanks for watching my video and see you again in the next one thank you